Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the Pit Viper Air from APA. So as you can see, this is a single cam bow and it is a powerhouse little bow. It's gonna have a very smooth draw cycle. I've already shot this bow actually. The colors of this and the lava red are absolutely incredible. And as you can see, it looks like a kid's bow. That's how small it is. Its bow is ferocious. It's gonna hit with a lot of power and I think it's a great bow for people looking for a bow at APA especially wanting something small, super, super light, uh, easy maneuver and get in the field. This is a great for a bow hunter up in a tree stand. Uh, you can get this thing in a camo, solid colors. I just really wanted this lava red because I think it looks so incredible. So let's go ahead and shoot this bow and talk about the specs. All right, guys, talk about the specs, the Pit Viper Air. The bow starts at $639, which is actually pretty low cost for this cool bow. Uh, this bow is IBO of up to 320 feet per second. Uh, axle axle is 27 and a half inches. Brace height is seven and a half inches. Physical weight is a mere 3.2 pounds, so it's super lightweight. Um, draw weights are 30 to 60 pounds. Draw lengths are 23.5 to 30.5 inches. Um, the let off is 80% and is available in an array of colors. All right, guys, speed testing the Pit Viper Air from APA. This bow is set at 60 pounds, so it's, I think it's just over 60, like 60.5. Uh, first arrow, 350 grains. 29 inch draw. 289. 450 grain arrow. 251. 550 grain arrow. 233. 650 grain arrow. 215. All right, guys, there you have it. The Pit Viper Air from AP Archery, the single cam bow option. Um, this is a great, great bow, especially for the price. Again, super lightweight. You're getting a bow that is very compact, uh, very shootable bow. It's a very nice shooting bow. You get some of that cool stuff with this bow as you do with the APA, which is basically things like this line system where you're going to have make sure you're perfectly in line with your arrow where it should be when you put your rest on. So make sure you're perfectly level. Um, you get the toolkit at the bottom. Again, turn your broadhead, um, turn your knock, and stuff like that. And also the pin in the back here to lock out your cam system. Again, we've seen that in all the EPA bows. But again, I mean, think about it. That's a really important aspect to that, right? Giving the field, be able to lock out your system to fix your peep or whatever it is. That's a really important thing. Um, the bow also has these connections at the top. If you have a limb-driven system and you want to take your rest up and grab the loop at the top, um, you can see it's got some cool fangs in the cams, top and bottom, to make it look really nice. Super lightweight. Again, I'm barely holding this thing. Um, and again, I think people who want something that's really a backpacking type bow to get into the backwoods, go ball hunting, especially from a tree. A lot of these guys right now with these trophy line type harnesses, the saddles, this type of bow would be excellent for that because you could really maneuver easily and get it all, you know, carry it with you wherever you go. So really loving what APA has done here. I think this bow is really cool looking and has a lot to offer. So check out APA online when you get a second. I'll link them below. Thanks for watching Boner Planet. We'll see you next time.